Okay, hello everyone. In today's video, I would like to show you how to connect into, I think, seven years old IP camera. It's nothing special, but uh, I think uh, the principle is the same for most of the cameras uh, even now. And uh, to record this video, I'm using uh, FFmpeg command line, just to know. And uh, I'm using this uh, real-time buffer size uh, to enough space for basically this audio input. And here, this is source of my input, which is desktop. Here, this is source of my input, which is my microphone. And I'm producing basically output video with this codec. And uh, file specification is this one. To reach some information about uh, my source and inputs on this source, I need to use uh, this command uh, because time to time when I connect the microphone into different USB port, this is changing and it's annoying to find the right uh, number here and some specification of my input for audio. And this is how I am recording these videos and I will hide the FFM now. And uh, let's get into this. This is uh, my IP camera. This is just still image preview of this camera and uh, it's dealing and with this specification and it's really old one. I don't know, it's... Uh, there is no day, but it's a really old one. And uh, you can go to the setup. There is uh, some network setup, wireless setup, uh, dynamic DSM, image setup. Uh, yeah, there is flip mirror brightness. And there is video. You can see that there is not too much option uh, how to set your resolution and uh, JPEG quality and uh, view mode. There is as well audio, motion detection and some feature to send the image based on motion detection threshold to email or store it to FTP. And uh, that's all one. And uh, I remember that uh, the IP address is here. Actually, you can find the IP address of your device. This is name of the IP address, uh, the IP camera and this is IP address and this is everything what I need to connect into the default uh, camera uh, server when I have this uh, graphical interface to interact with the camera and uh, I just set the new password for admin and because I don't use the password before and I would try to connect into this uh, this IP camera from OpenCV program and uh, this is something what I will use but uh, every time I need to use uh, basically this kind of uh, pattern in uh, this address here is all time specification of some protocol. There could be something like this for real time streaming protocol, could be something different based on your streaming technology and camera. But every time here is basically uh, how it's called uh, user double dot password, and uh, here is actually IP address of the device and after usually there is specification of the port and after that there is some URL pattern to different resources on your camera and this pattern this part is uh, pretty much unique for each camera for each camera vendors and you need to really take your uh, serial number of your camera and found uh, what is the 
resources and uh, pattern of this URL available for you and uh, today I just guessed this because here there was this uh, this pattern which is based on image and uh, JPEG with this uh, suffix and uh, it took me uh, I think I attempt uh, four or five time to uh, come up with this uh, this is basically uh, admin is uh, username this is password this is IP address of the camera there is video which alternate with image for still image and there is motion JPEG which alternate with uh, just simple JPEG and uh, this is uh, what is uh, here and uh, in uh, OpenCV I have just uh, video IO and I need just high GUI and maybe video and uh, image processing nothing else maybe codecs I'm not sure about codecs and uh, everything else is not used and I'm using video capture here and uh, I need to let's say know that my OpenCV is compiled with FFmpeg because for this video capture is used FFmpeg and uh, here for video writer is used GS streamer this is what I show in previous videos and uh, I already described this and I basically streaming the this video or restream this video from this IP address on different IP with this port and I will catch the video from uh, from this IP address on browser and uh, here is just a simple loop when I capture something into the mat container resize and use the GStream writer outside of the OpenCV. Let's compile and run this program and we should see just a subscribed video with your uh, yeah. Let's wait for my 10 years old computer. It's a fantastic, fantastic machine for deep learning actually. It is ThinkPad used in my school research projects back in time okay there is some video and uh, i will show you at least some fingers just to, to know that this is actually a real video i think awesome result or yeah, that, that was fantastic. That was really fantastic. Uh, <laughs> and uh, okay, let's move. This is a video, it could be processed in OpenCV. You can do anything with this uh, video from IP camera. And this is main message, uh, how to access the IP camera video uh, from OpenCV. And you can add here some process loop uh, before capture and writer and uh, before you put your video into output stream you can do some fantastic image processing or some uh, uh, detection anything with your camera stream and uh, your input should be available as well you are compiled with GS Streamer by simple uh, HTTP HTML5 uh, video element which using source this IP address as and this port which is uh, exactly here on uh, GS Streamer defined and I will refresh this Okay, there's something and let's play. Yeah, there is six seconds of the video. 
I still have problems to, let's say, I don't know if this synchronization problem or buffer problem or what I'm using for streaming that TCPI servicing or I don't understand fully the GS streamer settings. But uh, at least this six second coming from my OpenCV program. And that's it for today. If I have a better setting and better things uh, to say about the GS streamer, I will say. Because uh, I need to compile the OpenCV with GS streamer on a much more powerful machine to use. Uh, to produce much more stable streams or using some middle server to buffer the video and uh, that's it for today the main message should be how to use video capture how to capture video from uh, from uh, IP camera and how to write this image from IP camera and push it further into some web application or somewhere else. That's it. And uh, yeah, this is uh, my FFmpeg still running and when I will just press control.